I'm going to show you how you can use security filtering to apply group policy objects to security group members rather than all users and devices that are within the organizational unit that the GPO is linked to. So to start, if we come to our group policy management, I've got a custom GPO, which if we check the settings, all it does is removes the shutdown, restart, sleep and hibernate button from the start menu, as well as limits access to the control panel. So what we want to do is instead of applying this to every single user and computer that is stored within the linked organizational unit that we are going to link it to, I want to change the authenticated users to a security group so it only gets applied to the members that are within the security group. So if we open up our Active Directory users and computers, the first thing we'll do is create a security group. So if we do new and then group, I'll call this GPO apply custom config and then OK. And then if we come back to our group policy management, what we can do is we can select our authenticated users and then remove that from the security filtering and then press OK. And then press OK on the warning to say that the computer accounts need read access to the GPO to work, but we can sort that in a second. So if we come over to our delegation tab, even though we've just removed the authenticated users, we need to add that security group back in. But instead of it having apply permissions, it will just have read permissions. So if we press add and then search for authenticated users, and then press check names and then OK. We can give that just read permission and then OK. And then now if we come to advanced, we'll be able to see that our authenticated users security group just has read access and it doesn't have the apply group policy. So the group policy won't be applied to the authenticated users, but they can still see the policy to check if they need to apply it. So back under scope, under security filtering, what we'll do is we will add our new security group. So if we search for GPO apply and then add our new security group in here, we've now got our GPO set up so that it's only going to be applied to users or devices within the security group. Now, what we still need to do is link this GPO to an organizational unit. So we'd still need to link this to our users or workstations or service organizational units. So I'm just going to link this to my company OU so that it'll filter down to all of the users and computers within that organizational unit. Now that that's been linked, I'll come over to my PC and then we can see if that has or hasn't been applied. So over on my PC, I'm just going to log in with a domain account that is within the organizational unit that this has been linked to. And if I try and open control panel, we'll see that the control panel still opens as well as the shutdown and restart button is still here. So if I open up a command prompt and then run gp result slash r, what we can see is that our custom config GPO is being applied or it can at least be seen. However, it is being denied by the security filtering. That is because the way we've got it set up, only users and computers within this security group will get this policy applied. However, if we check the members, we can see it is blank. So if I now go in and add my user account, and then if I also add the computer unit for the PC I'm logged into, we can check the object types, select computers and add my PC and then OK. Now something to bear in mind is you will need to either add the users or the computers depending on what type of policy it is. So if we come back to settings, I've got some computer configuration in this policy and user configuration. So if I just add my user account to this security group, it's only going to apply things under the user configuration and not the computer configuration. The same with if you just add the computer unit, it will only apply the computer config and not the user configuration. So I've added both. So this will apply both the computer config and the user config. Now that the user and computer has been added to this security group, we can come back to our PC and do a GP update. In a production environment, you will just leave this to do it normally, but for this demo, I'll just force it through quickly. And then now that's been updated, as there's a computer config, I'll give the PC a reboot. 
So now that's booted back up, I will log in with that same account. And then once we're logged in, if I try and open up the control panel again, we can see that we can't because the group policy is now being implemented. And then the same if we try and reboot or shut down, those buttons are now missing because the group policy is accurately being applied. So if I just run the same GP result command dash R, we can see that the apply group policies are now actually applied and it is not being filtered out. And that's under the user settings. And then if I open up the command prompt as administrator and then run the GP result slash R and then under the computer settings, we can see that our custom config is again being applied and it is not being filtered out. So that is how you can use the security filtering option to apply GPOs to members within a security group rather than every user or computer that is listed within an organizational unit.